Okay, so my forehead sits getting a little bit better, but then look at this thing. What the freak? It's like grew overnight. Oh God, so angry. It's because I've been drinking soda. It's really good when I first moved here and then I don't know what happened. I discovered Diet Dr. Pepper. That's what happened. Okay, so we drive almost an hour to get this food. If you know me, then you know what it is. He's so poorly. <laughs> Stop laughing at me, you're so rude. Oh my god, how much Chipotle? Chipotle is enough. Up the stairs? Hi baby. Is it your first time on the playground in the mall? I think this is slide. Oh uh, yeah. Go to Nina. Hi, baby. <laughs> what do you want to do? <laughs> Okay, me and Kaylin went to town today and I thought we were gonna get more steps, but we didn't. So we worked out and then we ran around the block. And how does my makeup look? Okay, so we went to the mall yesterday and I picked up my dream winter boots. Can we just talk about them for a second? I guess they're considered all weather boots, but. They are beautiful, and if you know me, you know I'm super Asian, so they were like, you know, like $100, but then I used a lot of coupons, so I only paid $45 and one cent after tax. Can I get a what what? So I'm sitting here trying to enjoy Harry Potter, eat my Chipotle, and then these two won't stop leaving me alone, begging me for food, now acting like she didn't do anything, and this girl begging me for food too. Now they're watching the movie. I promise, they were begging before. Look, this girl just jumped on the couch. She about to eat my food. Girl, get away. Heck no. Look at them, vultures. They're vultures. Kudos, stop! These vultures. What you doing, Emmalyn? What was that? Emmalyn. Mm. Emmalyn. Mm. You're such a big girl now. Uh. Oh, don't spit. Ew. Okay, 
So when we went to Columbia, we went to a couple different makeup stores like Sephora, and we went to Belk to check out what they had. And Laura Mercier had a new um, like illumination foundation that is a little bit of a lighter coverage, and I love the texture of it. It feels so good on my face, but for whatever reason, every makeup artist I've ever seen always matches my skin incorrectly, be it MAC, I've gone to Sephora, I've gone to Ulta, they always match me incorrectly, even with that stupid little IQ color machine thing, I always get the incorrect match. So I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I tried to blend it to my neck so you could just see the color difference. It's insane to me that they always think that I'm orange Oompa Loompa. I don't self tan or even see the light of day. Like, I am not orange, people. Can we just talk about how orange already this looks in the pot? At least the Laura Mercier one wasn't this orange. This is the uh, Makeup Forever HD foundation. And oh my God, it's like brown orange. Like this is my natural skin. Does it even look anything close to that? Like, no. Okay, really quick. I don't really like, I don't want to be a makeup channel, but let's just talk about this for a second. This side, is what they gave me as a sample to match my skin. This is Makeup Forever HD in 153, right? Okay, you can see my neck. This is Naked that my sister-in-law just happens to have in her collection because she's very, very pale. This is the shade one in ivory. It's not my shade, it's too pink, but it's closer of a match than this Oompa Loompa orange. Like, look at my neck. Even my arms are not orange. Why do you think I am orange. Are you feeding the puppy? Can you shake your head no? No. Oh, it's not necessary to spit that all out. Hmm? Yeah, it was? Okay. <laughs> challenge